Dr. Eugenie Clark, a marine biologist, was born on May 4, 1922, in New York City. She grew up during World War II and was often a subject of racism and sexism as a child because of the hostilities towards the Japanese at the time. Her father died at a young age, leaving her mother and Eugenie to care for themselves. As a child, Eugenie was interested in sea creatures of all kinds. This interest was installed when she visited the Pattery Park Aquarium as a young child. She visited the aquarium every Saturday after that and collected many different pets like snakes, toads, and salamanders. Her childhood hero was William Beebe, a naturalist and famed writer. Eugenie hoped to be like him someday and to lead research trips of her own. Her mother feared that she wouldn't be able to join the science world because of her race and gender. Her first husband was a pilot named Jideo Yumaki. She ended this marriage not too long after and married her second husband, Elias Themistokles Papa Constantinou. She had three children during this marriage, Hera, Aya Themistokles Alexander, and Nicholas Masatomo. She also divorced Elias and then married her third husband, Chandler Brossard, the first American existentialist author. This marriage, like her first, did not last long and she married her fourth husband, Igor Klatso. Dr. Eugenie Clark is still alive today and is 90 years old and retired. While growing up, Eugenie was often discriminated for being a half-Japanese woman. At the time, the science world was male-dominated, so it was hard for a woman to find a job in that field. She graduated from the University of Michigan in 1940 and from the Hunter College in 1942. While she was at the Hunter College, she suffered a severe case of anemia, but recovered and was able to do very well in college. She attended master's classes at the New York University while working as a chemist at the Selenese Corporation of America in New Jersey. There were few jobs available to inexperienced oceanographers at the time because of the world war that was happening. Eugenie earned her master's in zoology and her PhD in 1950. She was able to find work as a research assistant at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography and the American Museum of Natural History in New York. Dr. Eugenie Clark was famous for her studies on poisonous fish and the behavior of sharks. She had to work extra hard when starting her career in order to prove that she could keep up with the men. She helped prove that females could do what males could do in the science field. She studied the Plectinoth family, which includes the blowfish and triggerfish. She discovered many new species within this family. Eugenie learned to dive with a face mask and to walk on the ocean floor with a metal helmet since scuba gear was not widely available yet. She was supposed to study fish in the Philippines for the United States Fish and Wildlife Service, but they changed their minds when they realized she was a woman. Dr. Clark achieved many things during her career, such as performing the first successful insemination or fertilization of a fish in the U.S. In 1949, Clark studied the fish of the South Seas for the Office of Naval Research. She also studied and performed dissections on the Red Sea fish, especially the Moses sole fish. Dr. Clark also founded the Cape Hayes Marine Laboratory in Sarasota, Florida. Her most famous course of study was shark behavior. She believed sharks could learn and remember and were not the unpredictable, dangerous creatures that most people thought they were. She was responsible for conducting the target experiment by placing food by a target and associating it with a bell sound to trigger a memory response in the shark. She believed sharks should be understood and studied rather than acted against. Her studies of sharks gained her the nickname, the Shark Lady. In 1968, Dr. Clark became a professor at the University of Maryland and retired in 1992, but continues to teach, write, and research to this day. In the span of her career, she discovered 11 new species of organisms and has conducted 71 deep submersible dives. She published her autobiography, Lady with a Spear, in 1953. Because of her success in the marine biology field, many books were written about Eugenie, like Adventures of the Shark Lady, Eugenie Clark Around the World, written in 1998 by Anne McGovern. While at the University of Maryland, she received three fellowships, five scholarships, six medals, and 32 other marine conservation awards. She was also awarded the Gold Medal of the Society of Women Geographers, and she won an Emmy Award for her underwater films. She was named the Honorary Director of the Explorers Club and received the President's Medal from the University of Maryland in 1993. Four different fish species were named for her, and she received several other awards from international organizations. Eugenie Clark was commended for her extensive contributions to biology and her remarkable ability to communicate science to the public community. Eugenie Clark was extremely intelligent and her studies in the field of marine biology have contributed greatly to the science world today. Not only that, but Eugenie's perseverance was what made her such an amazing scientist in such a difficult time, especially for women. The Shark Lady and her research continue to this day 
and her discoveries continue to be referenced to all over the world.